Most of our gut are bacteria, and there's hundreds of species. But that also, it also includes a microbe is a, is a fungus. We have fungi in our gut. Um, we have certain parasites as well. We have viruses. And together, um, and there are even these very ancient bacteria called proteobacteria. So it's a conglomerate of pretty much all microbial life forms uh, of some sort or another in our guts, and they work together as a community. That's what a microbe They're typically smaller than you can see with your eye. In the case of a yeast cell, if you put about 10 of them in a pile, you can see a little dot. That's how small they are. Your microbes make vitamins and molecules that are good for your health uh, and even mimic uh, things like exercise and dieting through creating compounds that leak into your or pass into your body, uh, things like ketones, which can mimic fasting and give you the, the healthy products that you need. Um, and in fact, without a microbiome, uh, we're very sick because we don't get those nutrients that we need. The people who, who fast have a different type of microbiome that is generally healthier. They have bacteria that like to process foods, what's called sacrolytic metabolism, which means they're not digesting protein. They like the sugars, but when they, they turn that energy into ketones, so butyrate, acetate, succinate, these are metabolites that have to be used by mitochondria to generate energy in our body. And they're super healthy and that they help uh, with the fasting process. And it's, um, think of it like if you, if you drink vinegar, it's similar to that, your body becomes in that state. And that's a very healthy state. Your mitochondria are super important for overall health in your brain, your muscles, they generate energy, they make components for growth. And by fasting, you'll actually rev up mitochondria and then your microbes will make the components that your microbe uh, that your mitochondria need for, for good health. So it's all a virtuous cycle of not always being full, not always um, giving your microbes what they need. And in fact, this is how we evolve. This is what humans naturally want. And it's what our, our microbes in our gut naturally want. They want to be able to compete for food and not just feed them all the time. And that uh, really can allow for the bad types of bacteria to proliferate. And one thing about what, what makes a bad microbe, well, I've told you what's a good microbe, right? It makes these butyrates and acetates and it makes vitamins and it, it's anti-inflammatory. A bad one, um, some E. coli types, for example, they produce what's called LPS, lipopolysaccharide. And that little component gets into your system, into your bloodstream and causes low-grade inflammation. In fact, if you have a lot of it, you can get a fever. It's that bad. And that's what you want to avoid is to get that L the LPS levels down and maintain a low inflamed state in your body.